Welcome to the city of kings and queens, foggy streets and red telephone booths, fish and chips, and the famous black cabs. London is the city of contrasts and surprises, where the past and the present coexist perfectly. Join us as we take you on a journey to discover the hidden gems, the unknown corners, and the must-see places in this beautiful city. From the grandeur of Buckingham Palace to the historic Tower of London, from the world-renowned British Museum to the iconic London Eye, London is a feast for the senses, a city that will leave you speechless and wanting more. We'll take you on a journey through the winding streets and alleys, the grand boulevards and the intimate squares, the historical landmarks and the modern architecture to reveal the secrets and stories of London, a city that will amaze you with its diversity, its culture, and its people. So here are the top 10 best places you must see in London. Before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Number 10. St. Paul's Cathedral Although St. Paul's Cathedral is a well-known landmark, the structure there now is at least the sixth version of the building. Mark V was completely obliterated by the Great Fire of London in 1666. Mark III was also obliterated by fire in 1087, and Mark IV was reduced to rubble under the reign of Henry VIII. We should count ourselves fortunate that Sir Christopher Wren's design, which was finished in 1708 and has stood the test of time through 12 monarchs and two world wars. After you have paid the main admission fee, you will be given a 90-minute tour, after which you will be given an introductory talk as a special treat. Number 9. Hampton Court Palace a magnificent palace set inside verdant grounds located on the outskirts of southwest London. There's plenty for people of all ages to do here, from the indoor tennis court in the style of the Tudors, to the royal maze, from the king's private toilet to the magic garden adventure playground. Those interested in history and art should consider purchasing a ticket for the palace and gardens. Those traveling with children should consider purchasing a ticket for the magic garden and maze instead. Be sure to keep an eye on the webpage to track when they're open over the seasons. Number 8. The London Eye The London Eye is the cantilevered observation wheel that is the tallest in the globe. The remarkable feat of engineering is now recognized worldwide as a landmark of architecture and has come to represent the contemporary capital. At an impressive 135 meters or 443 feet high, you'll be able to spot some of the capital's most iconic landmarks and top attractions, including Big Ben, the House of Parliament, and Buckingham Palace, while riding the London Eye, which has a visibility range of up to 40 kilometers or 25 miles on a clear day. The ideal opportunity to reacquaint oneself with and get a new appreciation for the stunning city of London, the London Eye comprises 32 capsules, each designed to symbolize one of London's 32 boroughs. Number 7. Tower of London the Tower of London is one of the most popular tourist destinations in London because of its stunning appearance, which positions it among the most impressive landmarks in the city. When in London, it is impossible to avoid visiting this breathtaking location. Over several centuries, the Tower of London has served several functions, including a jail, a palace, a treasure vault, and finally a private zoo. It is currently recognized as a World Heritage Site. Number 6. Madame Tussauds a well-known waxwork museum, Madame Tussauds London, features statues of many of the world's most famous people, including your own favorites. Discover the classic wax statues of renowned individuals up close and personal, and take pictures with some of your favorite celebrities, such as Tom Cruise, Scarlett Johansson, Angelina Jolie, One Direction, and many more than 300 other people. Get the pictures you've always wanted to take with the celebs you've always admired. Number 5. Buckingham Palace An opportunity to view great artwork, catch a peek of royal grandeur, and explore HRH's administrative offices. The front of Buckingham Palace, which can be found at the very end of the mall, is well known both to visitors and to people who live in the area. However, this modification wasn't done until 1913 when King George V and Queen Mary put their stamp on everything. Prior to that, in the year 1633, the palace was not even royal, rather it was owned by Lord Goring, who was compelled to turn over possession to the royal family under the reign of King George III due to a defect in his contract. King George III inherited the palace. Poor chap. Number 4. Big Ben The clock known as Big Ben 
is one of the most recognizable landmarks in all of London. The tower, which is located exactly next to the Houses of Parliament, is visible and audible from a considerable distance away. Please refer to our Big Ben London Guide for information regarding the music that is played by Big Ben, the origin of the term Big Ben, and everything else that you need to know about what is most likely the most renowned clock tower in the world. Number 3. Westminster Abbey Westminster Abbey is without a doubt one of the most well-known attractions in all of London. This landmark location, which has been associated with Christianity since the 7th century and has served as a witness to a great number of burials and coronations, is an attraction that each and every person should make it a point to see during their lifetime. The area, on the other hand, has become increasingly well-known in recent years as the venue of choice for royal weddings. Number 2. Piccadilly Circus and Trafalgar Square Old Piccadilly Circus and Trafalgar Square are among the most popular tourist destinations in London. Unfortunately, they are found in close proximity to one another. Nelson's Column is a granite monument that stands 56 meters tall and overlooks the fountains of Trafalgar Square. The square was constructed to honor Lord Horatio Nelson's victory against the French and was named after Nelson. Piccadilly Circus, on the other hand, is the confluence of several of London's busiest streets, including Shaftesbury Avenue, Regent Street, and Haymarket, and it is also the location of London's most famous sculpture, which is winged arrows gently balancing on one foot. Number 1. River Thames The River Thames is known as one of the best places to visit in London because of its natural beauty and calm atmosphere. People think of it as an important part of London's tourism and economy. River Thames is the most well-known river from east to west in the UK. It has everything from luxury hotels to cruise ships, and it's also one of the best places to visit in England. It's one of the most important waterways in the world, and it goes through the busy city of London. Many people get ideas from it. For Londoners, it might just be a river, but it's a great place for people from all over the world to visit. This site is great for people who love adventure, books, history, style, and substance, river walkers, green-fingered people, and people who want to be Don Draper. You will definitely be happy and have a thrilling time cruising here. When you're at this river, you can see some of the nearby tourist spots and do some water sports as well. You can also take part in Totally Thames, the Boat Race, the Virgin Money London Marathon, the Great River Race, and the Mayor's New Year's Eve Fireworks Show. A trip to the River Thames is a must for anyone who wants to experience the royal and majestic side of London. So what do you think of our list? Have you ever been to any of these places or have any other recommendations? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and fellow travelers. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon for more exciting adventures in the city of kings and queens.